Rachki. No, bigger. Oh. What's that? Yeah, oh my yeah, god! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sir, can we check what's in your bag, please? And there's a massive stone. Just, just roll with it. Okay. All right, welcome back to 45 Degrees Sailing YouTube channel. Now, I should put that down. Um, I've been getting quite a few questions from people lately about my vlogging setup and how I'm filming. Um, people ask me to send them links and uh, how do I buy this, that, and the other. So we're gonna make a quick video about my vlogging setup and a vlogging setup we have just set up Michael for, because he was one of those people that asked me Annoying about people. that. And I, well, I didn't add that. <laughs> All right, because he's starting his own YouTube channel, uh, which is, is, what's the channel name going to be? It's going to be called Life Lessons. I don't I have no idea. It's Why are you asking called, me? It's going to be called Life Lessons with Michael Freer or something like that. But when the channel is up, I will link it in the description and it'll pop up with that little info thingy saying click on the channel and you'll see his face or all the face of the goat. All right, so long story short, this is my vlogging setup. I use a GoPro Jaws clip like this and a bendy, I'm not allowed to say that word, the, you know what it looks like, um, attachment on it. And then on top of that, I have this standard GoPro mount and then I got a tripod, like a selfie stick clip in that clips into the GoPro and then into the GoPro clip with the two prongs. And then into that, I screw down this Ulanzi um, so I've iPhone phone holder, which has a hot shoe connection on the top of it, uh, sorry, cold shoe connection on top of it to attach a Rode microphone sim similar to this. So that's my setup. At the moment we're filming on that, but you've seen a few shots of it, so that's cool. And we have just gone out and purchased all of these things for Michael. So we'll go through that really quickly. Hardest thing to get hold of is, I think, uh, yeah, they couldn't deliver it from Germany. Yeah, is this. It's on Amazon and all sorts of things, but we're in Croatia and we find it hard to get delivered. This is the Ulanzi ST02, which is the phone holder. Now, you can get a lot of phone holders from, from many different places, but what is special about this is the cold shoe mount on the top so that you can mount your microphone and screw it down like that. All right? Lovely. So, we bought that. How much was that, Michael? We'll link the prices and all the links to these things below. But that was about eight bucks. Um, then, the very important thing, if you're filming with a phone, iPhone, Android, whatever it is, and you want to use an external mic, depending on the application you use, you will need to buy this SC7 cable in order to connect the app to the microphone or whatever so that it actually registers you have a microphone in, in the app. So this SC7 cord, can I rip this open? Yeah, go for it. Can I rip this open? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. I'm not very... Rip it, rip it. Go, keep the cardboard though. That keep, my yeah, 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 that's right. So I'm get the composting. So the difference between this cord and the standard cord... No, don't know where it is. Oh, there'll be one in here. Oh. The standard cord is it has the gray tip on it with the three bands for microphones. So that way you will get the application to register it. Now I did find if you just record, you open that one, it's yours. Um, if you just record with the standard cord in some apps, it's absolutely okay. Uh, but with the Filmic Pro app that we use to do our filming, uh, you need you need the SC7 in order for it to recognize the microphone. So that's something. While he's opening that, um, I use the GoPro Jaws clip and mount because I, I clip that onto anything and everything around. This one is the Gorillapod. Uh, the 3k kit so we chose for this to go for this one for michael one because it's readily available two oh yours is red that's cool and two because he wants to use it doubling as a tripod as well you see a lot of vloggers with these this is not the biggest one you can get but it's big enough yeah yeah, yeah. um but everyone everyone knows what these look like but basically you can play play tripod like that now this pops out like so, screws into here. Who's got a coin? Just tighten this up on the bottom. Nice handy little level on it. I don't know when I'd ever use that. The what, the level? The level, I mean, it makes, makes sense. Okay, so like that, we've just unboxed this Rode Video Micro. Uh, the micro, yeah, okay. So this is the Rode Video Micro. I had, I bought both the Video Micro and the Video, stupid, uh, but this one is more directional. They both come with the dead cat filter over top of it to um, diffuse the wind. Um, and that is much more directional microphone than the, the video mic micro, which I find has a really good arc 
um, sorry, a really good angle of, of sound capture. So I tend to use this one much more often than I use the other. And that attaches to the hot shoe connection. Other way. Lefty Lucy. Oh yeah, Lucy. Le Lucy Lefty. <laughs> lefty Lucy righty type. That's, that's the engineering term. Um, this Joby, Joby setup here has got this nice ball joint. Makes it really easy to rotate and set your frame up. So that's why we like to use that. I will actually be getting one of these in the future or I will just use Michael's. Now Michael's dead cat doesn't look as fluffy as mine because it hasn't we been not used call much. It dead cat. It's what it's called. It's not very PC. Alright that clips into there like that and boom. Now Michael doesn't know this but this needs to be set right back there so that it doesn't doesn't just fall down under the weight of itself. And then microphone and Perfect. this is my old old filming phone screws up like so. A lot of people when they film they want to see the screen when they're filming. I am the opposite. I found it really distracting um, and we all know the whole Casey Neistat thing is why he wears sunglasses in his videos because you're always looking at the picture instead of at the camera. So I, and I still wear sunglasses but basically to solve that I film like this like so looking at my camera and I cannot see the screen so that way I'm not wandering around and it's I find it's much more engaging so that is it in a nutshell and this is Michael's new whoop whoop. vlogging system oh yeah 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 absolutely yeah just like this you know how it works we said we use the filmic app the reason we use that filmic app is you've got manual exposure and manual focus settings on that um, application, which is really nice to get a little bit of pull focus or just a bit of dynamic range to your videos. It's not like having a lens, but it is, it's a nice little, little trick. And also what I like about that is the audio. You can choose either which microphone you use from your iPhone or smartphone with the Filmic app, or of course you can adjust the manual gain and volume levels of the exterior, um, external microphone right on the, on the, on the screen there. So. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions about this setup or um, where to get these bits and pieces, let us know and subscribe to Michael's new channel, which cool. will be... We don't get any commission from this, do we? So, no, you want a Gorilla Pod. Gorilla Pod. That... Gorilla Pod. Hashtag Gorilla Pod. Joby. All right, thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit like. Um, hit subscribe if you want to see that or any of other uh, sailing things we do and yacht reviews and stuff like that. I was about to say Spanish. Oh. Spanish. Ciao, adios. Adios. Sajian. 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 Kia ora. Kakitiano.